We're looking at Robrex puzzles today. Start with the Saunders, invented in 1904. Still has the patent today. The Cross and Crown, 2013, and Cross and Crown 7. Over 4,800 moves to solve. That one. That one. Yeah. And the Ladybird. On the back, a little ladybug. On the front, a double maze with the uh, pins and you gotta get a coin out. And you win one euro for solving this puzzle. One euro. Welcome to Puzzle Time with Tony and Tyler. He's Tony, I'm Tyler. We are shooting Robrec today. We got some good stuff. So this is all like pressed wood, eh? You got nine yeah. puzzles from them? Ten? Ten puzzles. Ten okay. puzzles from Robrec. Not new. Not new, right? Uh, no. 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 But, but they're all stuff that's back in stock. Like four years out of stock. Is it that long? I think it is Some that of long. it's pretty long. Yeah. But yeah, it's just really good puzzles. It looks... These look super cool. Yeah, I like he had a got. whole line come out. One so, of a three-part episode series on this one. Three parts. Right, so we'll break these puzzles up into different groups and kind of show you each of them. Uh, we'll start with what we kind of worked as like group number one, right? And then we left our favorites till episode number three. Yeah, yeah. so a little mini series in uh, puzzle time here. So with what are we doing today? Puzzles. We are doing... We'll take those away. Those four. We got them. So that is. We got the, uh, what was it? This was the, uh, something crown. CNC. CNC. Is it? CNC Cross and crown. That's Crossing what it is. Crown. Cross and crown Crossing. seven. Cross and crown 2013. And the Saunders puzzle. And Ladybird. Ladybird. Okay. What do you want to start? Easy, hard. Let's go with. That's okay. You start with this one. You know how to do that, right? Okay. Yeah, I've shot a video on this one before. So, puzzle created by this guy, Samuel L. Saunders, in 1904. and Still uh, has the patent. Still has the patent? So, yep. so, the guy's obviously not alive anymore, hey? Nope. Okay. So, it's a level eight. Uh, in my opinion, level eight is too hard, too high difficulty for this. I did not, I, I think I did this puzzle. And, like, yeah. it was not that hard. It's literally. Two mazes back to back, but it, or the same maze back to back. Yeah, like not that so hard. I saw that there was a hole there, yeah, a hole there, and then on the other side. So this is the starting position. There's the two mazes, kind of rotate around each other like that. <laughs> so the point of this puzzle, the point, <laughs> the point of this puzzle, we got a hole here. Get it to the hole. We got a hole, a hole here. There. Line up those. You line holes. up the holes with the peg in it. Put the peg out. through. Saunders maze. All right, well, well that was on Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever they were doing in 1904. Yeah. So these, let's, let's jump to the cross okay, and we'll crown. we'll show both and, of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. So let's just, before we do this, this and the previous puzzle are made of something called Trespa. 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 It's like a wood, compressed wood thing. Compressed wood, yeah. But it looks like, honestly, this looks like, like, it looks like some sort of plastic. Yeah. I mean, obviously the outside is plastic. There's some sort of veneer or whatever on here, right? Yeah, when I uh, opened them, I thought they were going to feel like more like cardboard, but they feel yeah. way better, especially they like do. this one has like a glossy finish to I it. I like this actually, yeah. It has a yeah, high glosses cross and crown 2013. 2013. Yeah. They're relatively the same, right? Separate one disc from the uh, cross on the back, right? Yeah, so like, yeah, because these pegs are the only thing actually holding it on, these little metal pieces. This did, this peg in the middle actually like this bottom is cross attached piece to the will bottom, come out. Yeah. So I never noticed that when I first did this. So that's pretty neat. So you get it obviously you get it to the, the four pieces into those holes. But it's it's like a they, they call these binary puzzles, right? Because you're kind of doing the same move over and over. It's like we've talked about these before. Yeah. Um, the, the Tower puzzle of Puzzle Master Catacombs. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how it totally works, but yeah, it's doing the same move over and over, and then you get it through and you're working it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so 1,250. 4,802. 4,802 moves. <laughs> so that's that's the other one of the other problems I have here. We're getting into puzzles now at Puzzle Master where the level five to ten, I feel like, just doesn't quite suffice for what you need. Hey, no, you like almost I, need like a one to twenty. Yeah, I feel like our moves, our, our difficulty levels, maybe need to be expanded because these are both level tens, and there is a significant difference between the the amount of moves required for these, right? Mm -hmm. Between these two, I feel like Puzzle Master needs to adopt some sort of like ten plus, eleven, twelve. I don't know. Increase our numbers, increase the amount of difficulty because there's some hard puzzles out there, man some crazy yeah. stuff that they're coming out with these days so cool. yeah so these were those two yeah binary puzzles slide it through obviously this little like piece in the bottom slides and moves around and uh cross and crown cross and crown seven and 2013. 2013. cool and then i think this is probably the one i thought looked the neatest of all these yeah um, let's maybe zoom it in here a bit get a better view ladybird so uh how does this puzzle work? Is again okay. So it, yeah, two mazes. mazes. Yeah, uh, pins with each of these, and I wasn't able to see like, are they on the same? Oh yeah, they are. Hey, what's that? So I was just wondering whether like one of them is on the top maze and one of them is on the second one, but it looks like both so of them both go, go through, through both. Yeah, go through both mazes. Yeah, right? yeah. But this is the other thing I thought was cool. Like there's yeah. a little ladybug on the back. I don't know. It's, it's, it's nice that design. Dress by again, but it with like a finish on the top or veneer. Yeah. And so, uh, okay, now, hold on. Why does it say start here? Should oh, that, that's a good question. Like the pegs are up there. I don't know, maybe this puzzle's not in the starting position. So, okay, here's, let's, let's, show, let's show the movement here. So the, there's two mazes in there and you can move them separately. And then those pins move through. So like these little bug antenna yeah, things there you go. move up and down and that allows you to go through. Move that one down. Move that one down. And this, I don't know. So you can move stuff over. That will not move over, but you get the yeah. idea. There's two mazes stacked on top of each other. You got to get that coin out here, right? That's the whole point. Out the hole. Getting the coin out the hole. So what is that? A one euro? One euro in there? Nice. And so uh, yeah, you're running the the ladybugs antennas through the maze. Again, I don't understand why it says start here. Like I didn't even notice that the first time. Yeah. Yeah. So it seems like this should be over there, which would put yeah, I don't know. So maybe this puzzle did not come in its unsolved state totally. It's partially solved. I'm not sure. But you get the idea. So that's the... Uh, I don't know, but it's kind of arbitrary where the start is because there's no point of where the finish is. That's true enough, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Because, yeah, you just got to get that coin over, so... Yeah. But you think if... Okay, now think. If these pegs were rotated here, that's going to move this whole coin around. Actually, probably, yeah, you'd get through the solve there when you put these back because this is all going to move that way or do you know. think they're meaning like the start is like this and you're trying to get to here that's what it looks like to me or that do looks you like think there's the a start finish line through. on the second disc that we can't see like it's underneath maybe, here or something maybe i don't know maybe it shows up through some of the gaps yeah yeah i'm not sure interesting puzzle cool design it's pretty heavy too. Like this is one of the heavier ones. It's it's yeah. quite thick and it's got a plexiglass finish on the front too. Yeah. So it feels like a good quality puzzle. It moves nice too. That's the thing, right? Like these these discs actually move pretty well. Like they have a they don't feel loose or cheap. So I like cool. that. Ladybird, Ladybird, Ladybird. It's a level Lady nine. Bird. And uh, yeah, getting me a trust bump. So that's those three Rob Wrecked puzzles. Four hang? Rob Wrecked puzzles yep. today, I guess. Were you hanging out with Aaron this week? I was, I was. We have the Kaiji puzzle today on Aaron's Anomalies. Mm. So uh, check out Aaron's Anomalies, Kaiji. Welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. This is where we show you puzzles that may not look super awesome or may not have a great, uh, I don't know, paint or finish on them but are really awesome because of some simple move or a unique uh, solution on it and they're all picked by Aaron. Aaron what do you got for us today? So we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at Tai J. 
Hi, Jay. It comes in a cool box here, hey? Yeah, for sure. I like that. It's even textured a little bit, which is neat. Yeah, it's got like a nice kind of embroidered design or... Magnetic front. Good yep. flap on there. Always, always love that in a box. I always appreciate a good look. You know, when someone takes that extra bit of time. Yeah, this feels like you could have the box on the shelf with the puzzle, like kind of just display it? it open. Right, right. Okay, so it's like a yin yang type thing. Yeah. What's it made of? Is this aluminum? Yeah, this is all. Uh, this is anodized aluminum. Yeah, anodized. for sure. So same as the as the uh, chiasma. Yeah. Cool. Okay. For sure. So what do we got to do in this puzzle? So more or less, in my elevator pitch for this puzzle is if you like to. Uh, news from uh, Hanayama. Yeah. This is like it, but there's more to it. There's more grab pins. This is all just a big grab pin maze. So you're telling me like I should spin it and then it's going to come apart? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's uh, two chunks of uh, aluminum through this puzzle. Okay. And so it's it got moves. different uh, pin holes in it to accept gravity pins. Right. And there is actually several gravity pins in here to manipulate. Okay. And both sides are like that. So you saw oh. that I kind of split it like that. How did you do that? So right now I have uh, the two grab pins where they need to be. Right. How do you tell like where they... Uh, so you can feel that they actually fall a little bit. Right. I, I'm not going to lie. It's been a little bit since I've uh, okay. solved this one. You can kind of see if you look closely though. You can see in there. Like, uh, let's see if we can get the camera to do this. Uh, come on. No. There you go. There's the pin, you can kind of see it right in there, right up there, yeah. So, okay. Do you, do you want to do the solution? Uh, we can definitely see if I can, but... Okay, let's, let's see it. So, I have the one side already done. Oh, it's like popping out a bit. Yeah, and we just don't want to lose that yet. Right. Actually, I might have to put it down, but not rotate it. Or maybe I do. It's been so long. I see what you mean, though. As you spin it, you can kind of feel the pins dropping. Yeah, yeah, you don't want it to... Uh... Is there only two pins? Or how many pins is there? So there's two pins intersecting like that, and then there's one pin going through the center. Through the center of both? Yep. Or just... Okay. Now, if I remember right, there is another name for this puzzle, right? Yeah, they call it like the 69 puzzle or something. Right. I think because... it might have been... Well, that was maybe even on the packaging. Mm -hmm. I think it might have just been on the website. But it was, I think I think initially when it came to us, it was called the sixty nine puzzle <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah, it's the IJ now. And you can see the six, the nine, right? It's the yeah, it's a yin yang symbol among or other, whatever. Among other things. <laughs> yeah. So, and so when okay, when you take it apart, what's all going to come apart here? So all of these pieces are going to splay apart. And there's, so there's four. So this is an individual piece. That's an individual piece. That and that. Yeah. There's four shell pieces. There's two through pins right and then there's going to be six gravity pins all you, in total. will those fall out when you open it uh yep okay yep so it'll be another deal to kind of reset everything so that you can slot it all back together right right and i think actually chris ramsey did a video on this one as well i think so too yeah, yeah. i believe he did yeah so that'd be something worth checking out cool well that's the uh taiji it's puzzle master brand level eight uh, also called the 69 puzzle. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Aaron. No problem. That was Aaron's Anomalies, the Tai Ji puzzle. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if you enjoyed watching that, there is lots of other stuff on social media on puzzles. Um, and speaking of Tai Ji, I watched one, uh, Jack Noble. He's this like Italian puzzle guy. More, I guess he's a magician who does puzzles. Kind of like Chris, but I feel okay. like Chris maybe is like... Maybe more puzzles than he's magician almost now. Maybe I don't know. Jack's uh, yeah magician guy, same kind of thing. He's from Italy though, so if uh, you can speak Italian, he has some awesome stuff. If you can't speak Italian, um, so he's on YouTube, but he's also on TikTok. And I feel like TikToks a little more shorter videos, a little more easy to understand because you're just watching him do stuff. Right? He's talking, but you get what he's doing. He's doing some puzzles, so he's on TikTok. Uh, Noble Jack Five, so N O B I L E J A C K Five. That is his handle, I guess, on TikTok. So check him out. He has some really awesome stuff there. Shows you a whole bunch of things. And like I said, he has the Taiji. He does show you the solution on there. Um, Chris Ramsey has a new video. You watched it? I watched Chris Ramsey's new video. It's about. Uh, it's called Wave Puzzle, or the Wave Puzzle is the one that he's doing it on. Yeah. It's real cool. 
actually. I don't know what they did with like there's a mirror effect to the to the pieces. So and essentially it's like, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, right? Yeah, kind of. similar to like the Uesaka stuff. Yeah. Just whatever film that they used for it, is it like a reflective to it? So you don't know which way the puzzles go. Yeah. And it's like clear. So it's reflective and it's clear, right? Yeah. So it's strange cool. to look at. And there's a square piece right in the middle of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. sweet. Yeah. Chris does yeah. awesome puzzles. That's a really unique one. Uh, some guys, like he said, it's the dude who made it. It's his first puzzle he's ever done. Yeah. So, so he opened sweet. up a small company. Yeah. So some new stuff. I always love when there's like new puzzle designers and there seems like there's a lot of them are puzzle creators. Mm -hmm. um, another one we wanted to direct you to is called the Meta Metagrabologist Magazine. And um, Metagrabologist, you know what that is? Nope. It's like uh, someone who studies puzzles. Essentially, if you do puzzles and study them and solve them, you're a Metagrabologist. So. We're both kind of metagrabologists. So this is the magazine that covers everything puzzles. I think mechanical puzzles is kind of what they say, but they have an online magazine. You can get it. Um, I think they're up like six or seven uh, magazines they've released now or editions. So okay. something like that, but it's done by a guy named Dave Holt. So he's a big puzzle guy, um, very involved in the world. So if you want to get some of like an inside view of puzzles um, and the puzzle world and just see some of like the really like really nerdy niche stuff you can like meet some of the designers they do interviews and stuff and it's got a whole bunch of things puzzle masters in there every so often too so that's the metagrabologist magazine i forget what the website is metagrabologist.co.uk it's a uk thing so check it out and then another one that's come out recently um this is one i'm kind of excited about it it's interesting it's kind of off the beaten path it's made in france asmr so Dude, you, you were guys. excited about this. Yeah, just just because it's different, right? And okay. I think okay. So I've, I've watched a few ASMR videos. There's a few different guys who've done some puzzles. For stuff. okay, so for you regular people who don't know what this is, this is sounds like yeah. just they touch and. So essentially, yeah, it's like quiet, and then they usually clink, crinkling things, ding, jingling things, and the kind of speaking in a whisper like this. So yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be relaxing, and uh, I don't care. I've heard that people go to sleep to it. I'm not into it. But I find it unique and interesting, and it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's a different niche. It's like, it's like this, I feel like this Made in France ASMR thing is like a puzzle niche inside of an ASMR niche. So it's oh, like, yeah. super... it's like the fetishists <laughs> who were in the puzzle group <laughs> are also part of this subgroup Doing for weird people. Stuff, yeah. yeah. So Made in France ASMR, the guy does really cool videos. I don't like, I'm not like super into it, but. It's neat. And if you were into ASMR, this guy does some good stuff. I imagine. He has like two mics set up right there. And then he like crinkles things. And yeah. And he's got a French accent. So like, I mean, maybe the ladies would like that. Yeah. All that being said, his filming is actually really good. It is. The guy's awesome. So really good stuff. But he, he unboxes a box from upstyle of puzzles from Puzzle Master. So yeah. he, he got some puzzles from Puzzle Master, opens them up. And I assume this is a lead in to maybe like a whole bunch of other videos where he solves them and stuff on, on camera, but maybe not. Sure. I don't know. Oh. Made in France ASMR. Check him out on YouTube. He's on Facebook too. Um, so the Facebook is kind of, we shared his thing on Facebook on the Puzzle Master page. So you can check him out there. Made in France ASMR. And that's uh, kind of the stuff we found on social media recently from Puzzles. So cool. um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And, it leads you into like the whole puzzle world and seeing some other stuff. And we want to help you find more interesting stuff online about puzzles and puzzles maybe you've never seen before. And puzzles that maybe we have, but don't look that good, so, right? I was like that when there's puzzles that you see a picture and you're like, eh. You see a video of it, someone doing it, and it's like, ooh. So, yeah. But that's, uh, that's our episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Puzzle Time with Tyler and Tony. Thank you guys. See ya. <laughs>